So we're going to move on now to notes. So uh, I had a couple of notes in there and I'm going to just pull my screen so it's fully focused on notes. And yeah, I had a couple that I had um, created in there just demoing previously. But in here you can type away. And uh, the other options that you have um, are a checkbox. So I might have a few things to do today. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on my checkbox. So one is record or DC. One of them is certificates for the RTC. And that's all my checklist for my Saturday. I have a really nice clear checklist for once. So once I, once I have done those, I can tick them and they're checked off. And uh, the second one's not done, but I can come back and check that off. I use this all the time, just as quick reminders for me. And sometimes I would like prioritize them and just tick them off. And it's just a way of me remembering. So that is one option. The second option, you can actually scan live into your um, notes. So if you're taking like notes alongside and you have a textbook, you can have students or you could scan in there and you can put in photos as well. This one up here is really, really useful. And this again is your markup. So depending on which app you're using, you'll see additional options. Um, when we use photos, you will see this little A one won't be there. So this is your scribble. So this will allow you to handwrite and convert into text. And these are your other options. This ruler also may not be there. And if I jump into clips, uh, not clips, um, keynotes or pages, I will have a fill tool, which is not in here now. So I'm going to just stick with my pen. So I'm just going to connect my Apple Pencil because it's not connected currently. Um, but if, while that is connecting, what I'm going to do is I can quickly spare that and now I'll be able to use it. So I'm gonna get that yellow pen. One thing that's really handy in notes, and again, this may or may not, depending on the app work in it, is we're taking quick notes and we want simple shapes. So we want straight lines, we want squares, circles, triangles. I'm going to just do a messy square. If I do a square and just release, it will turn into, that's clearly not, enough like a square, it will turn into the shape that it's meant to be. So normally what I actually do is just hold down for a minute or two at the end and that always works. You don't have the fill tool so if I was to color that in I'd have to color it in by hand. That is one option that can really be useful for a note taking. So I can do my triangle there, I can do, I'm just going to go a circle in there. So that is really, really useful and it does work in notes. You just hold on a little bit at the end. If I go to scribble, so you do have students, we're encouraging typing. I do work in further ed and like typing is the way things are done. You, you, we don't really have handwritten things um, except for sometimes exams if they're not done digitally. So we're encouraging um, typing, but you may have a student that is trying to take notes and they just can't type. Um, fast enough, yes, or they might have another reason why they um, feel more comfortable with um, drawing uh, or handwritten that or handwriting them. It's scribble in here. So if I tap on scribble, and if I write something, I'm just gonna go with my name. It will put that into a sentence. So the one thing I like about that is you can actually write really large. So depending on the student, it, that may be how they write and it will turn into a sentence. Now this does take a little bit of practice, um, but my handwriting is pretty terrible and it works with mine. So I'm confident it should work with most people's. Um, so that is another option. And then if I go over here, I have other Options, I can uh, collaborate with people in my class or with other teachers. I can send copies. So I could like send a copy to schoolwork or OneDrive or whatever I'm using. I can find in notes. So that's like your Safari option there. So you can find words that you may have mentioned. I can move the notes to the folders or if, let's just say we're in um, trying to practice our handwriting, 
or we are in maths class and we're trying to draw that grid or that perfect square, um, we can use this. I'm just gonna draw a square there. Um, it's gonna become a D because I did it wrong. And uh, I'm gonna just go lines and grids, turn it on, and I'm going to click on markup. So I should have clicked on that first, not scribble. And I'm just going to draw, this could be just a graph. Um, in there or bar chart and I'm not really paying attention to the squares but you know I could be um, and I also didn't hold down at the end so those lines aren't perfectly straight so go there that might be without your lines I will do a proper one with the lines now quickly so the first thing I'm actually going to do is make this thinner it is the thickest line that can be there and I am going to scroll down my page so I could just do that, hold down, straight line, perfect. Straight line across. And then I'm going to get these bars in. And I don't know what we're representing now, but we're representing something. And I can draw my better looking graph you see that second one I didn't hold down on it so it's not straight but that's not an eraser sphere so that is notes um as a note taking it's probably my main note taking one if I am somewhere that I want to take notes I would take them in notes and I have thousands of notes um when you're in notes as well you can organize things into different folders so I don't really, I don't use this iPad um, for notes. This is for demo purposes only, but I can uh, create a new folder and I could say, just say maths notes. And um, that's my notes here. And if I want to put that note there in there, I can just drag it in there and then all my maths notes are together in that one folder. So you can organize them. Um, that bar chart, I don't know what it's gonna be, but um, I'm sure students would find that useful. So that is notes.